Hi, my name is Lauren Turner. I am 21 years old and I play volleyball at the University of San Diego and I tested positive for COVID-19 on February 26, 2021. I've been playing volleyball for about 10 years and I've always had asthma. I, since I was a little kid, I had a little nebulizer and I, when I got the phone call from San Diego County that I tested positive, I immediately was terrified and um, it wasn't until after my 10 day quarantine, I went to the doctor to get cleared. And at that point, the doctor said I was breathing at the level of an 80 year old. So like, we're just gonna have to um, abstain from practice for a little bit until your breathing rates get better. And it has now been six, seven months since then. And my chest pain has not gotten any better. It's gotten worse actually. And so I went through all of the medical hard long asthma, every single test you could think of, and they still went kind of undiagnosed until the final POTS tilt test table that they did, um, which kind of regulated your blood pressure, saw how it was from you sitting down versus standing up. You were kind of like shoved onto this table and they were kept tilting you. And I was going in and out of consciousness even throughout the entire test that they did. I was so dizzy. I remember just crying throughout the test and the doctors were like, are you okay? Like, do you want to stop? And I was like, can we stop now, please? Can we stop? And they're like, okay, we're almost done, almost done. But I swear it was the longest test of my life. Yeah, it's actually really helpful to have Emily um, as a teammate to describe her story and her symptoms and kind of relate through her and have that share, mutual shared experience. I think for me, it's been really challenging even comparing my symptoms to Emily because I'm, I've been having really tough chest pain, which she shows um, different symptoms in the way that her body and her joints respond versus um, me, where it's like, I, I'm also getting the lightheaded dizziness, but it's just so interesting and to learn more about POTS as a whole and how um, kind of every patient is different. Relate to that in the sense that I just don't trust my body anymore, especially my brain. I have such brain fog that I feel so out of it 50% of the time where I don't know where I am. I'm having blackouts, dizzy spells, and that's, I think, has been the hardest part about having pods. Finding a way to articulate that to people too is difficult because they're like, oh, you, like, you look fine, you know? But like knowing I don't feel, I don't feel anywhere near how I felt and just the way that I don't trust my brain. I've never been someone who um, was shy. Like I'm always, I, I, I love, my favorite part about myself is the way I connect with people and the way I'm outgoing and like love, love life. And I, I feel like that's changed the most um, with POTS is even in class, like not trusting myself because I start talking and I lose my train of thought or I like have little blackouts mid sentence. And that's, it's scary, but it's also just, been really like isolating in the fact that I, a lot of people don't understand fully um, all that kind of my body is feeling like. has been just knowing that a lot of especially the younger underclassmen on our team feel comfortable talking to me um, about what they see for advice they, I feel like I'm the shoulder they cry on nowadays and I love that honestly I think if I can't play right now I want to do every other thing possible 